Today I am disassembling this Canon Maxi 5 printhead, which came out of an MB5100 series printer. If you're seeking guidance on how to remove the printhead from the printer, there are several videos online which will provide assistance. The purpose for disassembly is to perform an extensive and thorough cleaning of the printhead to remove all traces of ink and to uh, start fresh, which is not possible with the uh, Canon provided utilities. I have a couple of other items on the workbench here. First up on the right is an older style Canon Pixma printhead. I have a lot of experience with these and this is a fairly simple device. Uh, the printhead snap into the printhead itself and then you're off and running, but there's, there's no other parts per se. On the newer Maxi 5 printhead, as you can see, there's a number of screws here. There's ink chambers below the screws. And of course, you've got these spring-loaded mechanisms. And up top, we have the electronic connections to the ink tanks. You know, I should point out that this is just much more complex. It's much more involved. And if you want to clean this head, there's a, it's more work than the older style head. On the left, we have the new style ink cartridge. This is a 2200XL or 2200XL. And on this end of the cartridge, there are two ink ports, lower and upper, as well as the connector, which provides uh, data to the Canon operating system. Things like ink level, as well as uh, whether or not there is a cartridge inserted into that slot and security chip data and things like that. So um, that's a very different style of cartridge again to the old Pixma style uh, printhead and cartridges. But nevertheless, I will get into uh, disassembling this in just a moment. A quick product endorsement before moving on to this assembly. Once the printhead is taken apart, you will need something that can safely remove ink that is uh, without damaging the electronics or the plastic, the metal contacts or anything of that nature. I am a big fan of heavy duty goof off. Now this is the water based version. There are multiple goof off products and there are two bottles here, but the reason for that is this is the old bottle and they've gone to this newer packaging and they've switched up the wording and things like that, but it's essentially the same product. It is great for removing ink. Uh, here they have a picture of a Sharpie and, and some other things, but both are heavy duty removers. Now, this is not to be confused with the Goof Off product, which is oil-based and it comes in a metal can. That is uh, a much more aggressive, almost solvent-like product, and it would likely damage the printhead and some of the internals. This is a very mild, cleaner. I mean, it's, it's, you know, safe on your skin, I believe. It's not going to uh, hurt anything in terms of the print heads. Uh, this is what I use. I've had great success with it. And in fact, this print head from the old Pixma has been submerged in that product many times and I've never had a problem. So I'll be using the same for this and we'll move on. Okay, the printhead is partially disassembled, so we'll take a quick look at this. Got the uh, left side still on, so that's the yellow and the black. And on the right, we have the cyan and the magenta. This is what the underside of the spring-loaded mechanism looks like. And <clears throat> you're probably wondering, well, how does this seal to this uh, space here on the bottom of the, or the base? Basically, it seals up against those pieces of rubber i don't know if they're going to show up very well on the camera but it's effectively a, a rubber gasket if you will so that's how the bottom of this seals to that and i will tell you the six screws are all that are needed to to really create that seal and the screws are not very tight uh, they don't there's no torque spec on them per se but you don't have to uh, screw those down very hard for them to make positive contact with the rubber seal. The Canon Maxi 5 printhead is fully disassembled. Let's take a look at each of the parts. First up is the carrier. Uh, that technically is not part of the printhead itself, but rather the printhead mounts 
into or on the carrier, which is part of the transport mechanism inside the printer. Each of these four items provides an electronic connection to each of the ink tanks and the Canon operating system relaying information such as ink level and security chip data and things of that nature. The PCB here is actually wedged in between the connectors and the backside of uh, the print head. Unfortunately, this, it became detached. Uh, it's held in place with plastic wells and the wells just gave way, so I will glue that back in place. This is the base of the print head itself and it's nice and clean uh, on the bottom. Everything looks good there. And then looking at each of the ink wells, if you will, so you have a screening material for each of these. You've got yellow, black, cyan, and magenta. And then in front of those, it almost looks like I don't know, push buttons or something of that nature, but it's rather, uh, these are ink caplets or ink bladders. Uh, for lack of better words. So there is some amount of ink that is held in each of these holding spaces before it's released through the head. Now, when you're cleaning the, uh, the print head and you're trying to get every last drop of ink out of it, you need to kind of depress these gently and then work with that and work with the cleaning solution uh, of your choice to get this fully clean. But as shown here, this one looks really good now. So we're really at a point now where we can put this back together. And of course, this is the spring mechanism that goes on each side. And I'll just sit this in here as best I can with one hand. And it kind of looks like that. So we've got the 12 screws. And um, yeah, we can go ahead and put this back together now. It shouldn't be a problem. This is a little bit out of alignment, but I think that provides a pretty good view and again uh, the screw size it's a really tiny Phillips head screw so in terms of metrics it's a it's a 2.0 or 2 millimeter or if you're looking at uh, standard size it's a 5 64 so that's what you'll need to uh, to get those screws off and then reinstall them but this is it this is a fully disassembled print head this is what I highly recommend doing. Once again, the reason for doing printhead disassembly is to remove and evacuate all traces of ink from the printhead, the interior compartments, the passageways, and the entire mechanism. That way you're starting with a near factory fresh printhead. You can install new ink tanks with confidence knowing there's no traces of ink left behind, whether that be dried ink or a different brand or uh, perhaps a bad series of ink that you may have run through the printhead. And there shouldn't be any blotting or blotching or any issues with the printhead whatsoever. And again, this is a no contact cleaning. I did not use any brushes or anything of that nature on the head. It was all chemicals in this case. So, and they were very mild chemicals at that. This versus using the uh, Canon print head cleaning utility and or the deep print head cleaning utility, which effectively dumps copious amounts of ink onto the interior absorbent sponge. There's a sponge located inside the printer and uh, what happens is the print head will just position itself over that sponge and it will spray ink through the head in an attempt to break up the clog or resolve the issue. And as many folks know, this is not a satisfactory way to go. It doesn't always work and it doesn't always provide 100% satisfaction. So once again, this process was done without the use of brushes or uh, any kind of uh, contact with the head itself. This was used doing mild chemicals and it works really well. I've done this process for years on other print heads and I highly recommend it. I hope this helps.